right, it is Tuesday, second full day of practice on Table Rock Lake for the second Central Division Coast of 2019 season. About to put in at the state park. Look at this scenic view though. There's the dam, they're running water. Lake is about five feet over full pool. Caught some fish on a glide bait yesterday. Uh, a lot of fish on beds today. Try to expand on that, find some more options. Maybe try to find some fish in the bushes. There's a lot of fish in this lake, folks. A lot of fish. We're gonna head up uh, past a little bit the mid lake, upper lake area and look at some bushes in the water yesterday i flipped some bushes but they're like in super clean like super clean like you can see like 20 feet deep probably like 15 maybe 10 probably 10 to 12. uh but i think that's where those better largemouth are gonna be it's about a 15 minute run so it's a gorgeous morning severe storms tomorrow rained last night big thing has been rain this thing's about five feet up so that's what's going on. Just a tad chilly this morning. Well, there's a four pounder. There's a guy on the other side, four pounder just ate the glide bait. I got the hooks rolled out. So we'll come back and check on that one. That'll play. Crawfish down his throat now with them. That was interesting. I just figured saw if they would maybe react to that jerk bait and they do. It's pretty good right now. Solid two and three quarter, three pounder. Well, I finally think I'm getting this bush thing figured out. That was about a three, three and a half pounder. I saw it down there. So I'll probably just start shaking the rest of them off if I get any more bush bites. But I mean, that's like clean water, just dead nuts hard to the middle of the bush. So that could get fun.
Well, I was starting to get a little stressed out because I, I got some good bites flipping today and then had a big fish on the glide bait, but I didn't really have anywhere where I thought I could just go catch a limit. And in like five minutes, I had four bites off that dock. So this is that's actually a dock that I caught fish off of in 2015 in the fall. So that makes me feel a little bit better that I can just run in here and flip a little wacky worm around and at least catch 15 inches if I need them. size of that goggle eye. That is not a bass. That is a personal best. Well, it is about five o'clock and uh, I'm tired. I had the Bass Nation and then two days of this. Fingers all tore up. Um, We'll see what tomorrow brings. There's supposed to be some weather coming in. I'm a little leery about the uh, wacky rig deal with the clouds. I'm also leery about the glide bait deal. A lot of guys are doing what I did yesterday, just kind of going down the bank. But uh, I don't know. I got several fish marked, some from yesterday, some from today, that uh, that followed that glide bait that, that I could get to eat it. Um, and then just pulled it away from them. But the wacky rig thing is really intriguing, especially for Friday if we get some sun. I'm gonna go in, I gotta rig a bunch of stuff, and uh, I'm actually just tired, so. That's all she wrote for Tuesday. All right, it is Wednesday, the final day of practice for the Costa. Uh, made a little bit of a run in the truck we're going to put it in a little bit different creek kind of in the same general areas where i'm planning on fishing probably going to be a pretty short day there is some nasty weather that is coming in um but i wanted to give this area a shot it looked like it has a lot of kind of in and out pockets and i might be able to throw a top water in so we'll see what happens today that uh unfortunately didn't last very long at all there's a nasty storm coming in and my allergies are really bad like really bad about five o'clock on wednesday just got back from the flw meeting uh, over by the state park got boat number 14 uh and and i bought five raffle tickets and i won two uh, two of my five were winners, so I really decided to push my luck and stopped by and got some sushi. We'll find out if uh, that was a good decision in the morning or not, but uh, finishing up, getting some of the tackle ready, and then uh, get after it. Two o'clock check-in, so it's early, so it's got to happen, but it's been raining all day. Uh, temperatures down into the upper 50s now, and it's going to be overcast tomorrow. So totally different than uh, than what I've been dealt with. But there's a lot of fish in this lake. I think a lot of guys are gonna gonna catch them. All right, 3:30 in the morning, tournament day. Uh, looks like it's going to be cloudy all day, but not raining, so that's a plus. My eyeballs feel like they're going to fall out because of allergies. Just what you want for a sight fishing tournament. Alright, just got done with the national anthem. Fishing with Robbie today. He's from Kentucky Lake. We're both sitting decent in the points, so I'm gonna start in the first area that I practiced in on Monday and just see where the day goes from there. Should be fun. Boat number 10. Put it in the back I was like, well, that's a questionable move. <laughs> I was like, where the hell am I going? Boat 11. It's like, oops. Like the robin. Yeah, I was, I was in my head. I was like, I wonder what, what he saw right there that made him want to go that way. Boat number 12. I was, like, 12. I was 12. shocked. Boat 14. Thank you, 14.
think he'll go. He'll go. Right at the boat. Yeah. Number one. Number two. It started draining, just put number three in the box, 16 inch smallmouth. Total change up today. Number four off the bed. Yep. Is he in the mouth? Nope. nope. Dang it. He looked bigger than that when he was there. Yeah, he jumped, yeah. jumped down for the first time. He's a nice one. Yeah, he's nice. I thought he was bigger than that. Can't believe it. Freaking ate it too. Did it? I just missed it. Yeah. Well, it's 10 o'clock. I got a limit. It doesn't weigh much. I had to really change things up to get it. So I'm going to go see if those spotties are on the dock and then go flip bushes. Um, probably only got about nine pounds right now, though. So definitely need a couple upgrades. And the day goes fast when you have a two o'clock weigh in. So we got five, though. That's my first coastal limit this year. That's sad to say. But, uh, I mean, we're on Table Rock, so. Hey, where'd the net go? I'll put it up. Okay. Oh, there he is again. Got him. Well, it's 11.35. Still got a limit for about nine pounds. The bush bite is non-existent. I'm gonna go wacky rig docks. I can't get him to commit to that Roman made, so see if I can't call up a few times. Two twenty on the large mouth. Well, just broke off a four. Oh, sick. That's thirty places. He was trying to go under and I didn't I didn't want him to get on the I didn't want him to go under that pontoon and yeah. I, uh, with the <coughs> with that cable or with that the bar bar down there. Yeah. And I tried to turn him. And I could have just steered him out. I should have just when I had him out already, I should have just kept turning the boat him out. Right, yeah. Hindsight's 2020. Yeah, it happened so fast. That fish will cost me a check. Broke off again. Uh-uh. On the knot that I just tied. Oh. <sighs> Alright, we 
are done for the day. Could have been a good day. It was not a good day. Right at 10 pounds. Dumped my three biggest fish. Two, my two biggest fish for sure. And then broke another one off. Lost another one. So we salvaged it. It is what it is. 14, one four. gas station is 4 a.m. on Friday morning 10 9 yesterday has me in 99th place actually really looking forward to it now I gotta make sure my gas doesn't overrun all right we are about 126 I just started taking off numbers <coughs> there's three pounds that separate like 16th to 88th I'm sitting in 99th with 10 9 12.9 is 44th, so I'm shooting for 14 pounds today. 14.9, make up that two pounds that uh, did not go well yesterday in the landing department. So pretty optimistic. It looks like we're gonna have some cloud cover early in the morning, then it's gonna slick off. See if we can't get that wacky rig bite going, get some smallmouth in spots early. I have one fish on the bed, so uh, probably the most optimistic I've been in in 99th, but hey, I was in 84th after day one at Kentucky Lake and made a rally to finish in 29th. So looking to do the same thing today here on Table Rock. About 126, back to 126. Did you put it up? I don't know. That one's going keep it up. I don't think it is. Yeah, I put it up. <laughs> I don't think it's 15. Ooh, 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 ooh. Damn. He's on it. Well, it is just shy of 8.30. Got one good two and a half, two and three quarter pound spot and another two and a quarter pound spot so off to a better start quality wise uh gonna go look at some of the stuff i didn't look at yesterday and keep trying to catch good ones get up to that 12 pound mark and then get a big large mouth to move me up in the standings number five. 
That's a good one. I hit him good. I don't know if he was a giant or if he would have even helped, but I'd have liked, I mean, he wasn't a 12 incher, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, wait. You put it up? Yeah. Long thing. Take it down. Too fast. Take it down. Thank you, sir. He's not even that big. Holy shit, he's bigger than He's bigger than what we got. Did. Thank you for the calming influence, my friend. Yes, sir. Mm. Telling you all morning, you getting a check, man? No, no, I was way too far down. I, that fish I lost, yet yeah, that fish would have gotten me a check if I hadn't lost that one yesterday. That was like twice that size. There's just too many fish in this thing. I'm a real, I'm a realist, dude. one of those heavy ass pull downs. Everybody want a heavy ass pull down. <laughs> oh, damn. How long you been fishing? You could have been fishing for 50 years. Everybody wants a heavy ass pull down. One pin. There he is. That's him.
Everybody been saying out from this one over this bar around behind that bar over the other bar <laughs> did you think i was gonna land and be honest when, thought, when you I saw him you come out to. and go behind and stuff i thought he was gone i was I, I wanted to tell you to like stop pulling up on it so you wouldn't fray your line but i was trying to keep pressure because i know how these little hooks are and i just i wanted to try to keep them pinned up against that bar until i got my until I got my arm underneath it. Cause I knew that would be, if I lost him at all, that was when I would lose him. Well, that was some crazy stuff at the end of the day. Hell of a co-angler. He's got four. We're running back in. He got about 25 minutes to check in. It's about a 20 minute run. One spot, four large mouth. And that last one was nuts. It's pretty cool though, kind of makes up for the loss of yesterday, but not really because I, he's sitting really good, but I don't know, maybe everyone whacked him, I guess we'll find out. I remember hitting, uh, I remember stepping on him when I was... I was like, why is this thing acting funny? I was like, not now. <laughs> Well, that was an absolute roller coaster of a tournament on Table Rock Lake. I ended up catching 1410 today. Jumped me all the way from 99th to 34th place in the money, $1,912. Still in the mix for the Costa Championship on Lake Cumberland at the end. I mean, scratched and clawed look at my thumb it is absolutely i mean i'm bleeding on my hands it was uh it was a fun day these are the days that you really it's really fun yesterday no today yes yesterday i was like mildly i wasn't mildly i was depressed but another comeback that's twice 80s to top 30 at Kentucky Lake and then 99 so basically 100 to 34th here so I'm learning I'm having fun yeah 